so this is going to be my first intro like i'm making this video for nobody fine i'll just come on my youtube and watch it on a regular basis so that i can see my face this now the same i mean i purchased all these lipsticks what if i had the cash instead of having the lipsticks so this oh why is it not focusing hello oh my god what is wrong Welcome to my channel. I am Ankita and I am just starting this. It's completely new for me, so I will try to make videos on beauty, makeup, skincare, lifestyle, recommendations and all sorts of interesting stuff. Uh because that's the kind of videos I usually enjoy watching on YouTube. That's kind of my niche. So, let's see where it takes us. So, starting with my favorite shade of the day, Rupa. So, starting with one lipstick for every occasion, my first pick goes to this one. This is Maybelline Touch of Spice. It's one of my favorite shades and I use it most of the times. It's a very pretty mauveish like pinkish nude color. You can wear it to office, college, wherever you want, but it's it's a everyday wearable color. Let's see. This is the hand swatch and matte lipsticks are very drying on the lips, especially for me since I have a dry skin. So, I prefer bullet lipsticks any day over matte lipsticks. So this lipstick, uh, the pigmentation is actually very good, and the texture is creamy. <laughs> Number two is going to be every girliest girl's best friend. This is a so girly color. Like this is a bright pop up pink color. You can obviously wear it every day depending on your mood, but uh, this is going to. flush your lips like uh, your lips are just going to pop up because and the shade name is um, pink guava from uh, what is it kpop and i absolutely love this shade whenever i'm feeling like i need a very bright pink lips i always apply it it's my like one of my favorite pink shades so this is a hand swatch so pink and i don't think you can understand it absolutely well because uh, i i'm using no artificial lighting whatsoever it's just the tube light and i don't think the actual color can be focused but this is the color like a beautiful gorgeous pop up pink color and on lips it's like see like uh, it's it's not matte it's uh, it leaves a glossy finish and i love that i don't like matte lipsticks because it actually dries out your lips this is a very uh, like hydrated formula your lips doesn't dry out whatsoever and uh, the best part about this lipsticks is it matches the shade name so this uh, since the name is pink guava so this it smells absolutely like a guava and it's made up of guava extract so you know what you're putting on your lips uh, it's a little pricier than the usual lipsticks i usually wear like um, i wear lipsticks like in the 500 range or below under the 500 range but this is like i think 545 or 645 something i'm not exactly sure but it's worth it come on because you know what you're putting on your lips it's made up of fruits texture is actually it kind of leaves a satin satin finish but you can always mattify it with a powder if you are a fan of matte lipsticks i am not so it works absolutely fine for me and uh, actually to be very honest i am a lip gloss kind of person so i will just put this and i will actually put this lip gloss on to leave a uh, more glossier effect you know and this lipstick you can build it time to time now i am not feeling like wearing it super bright so i just put one shade of it you can obviously build it up by uh, layering coats of it so that's up to you it's a i would uh, like actually call it a girliest girl's best friend this shade oh you can't see it so this one this shade is again a very nude i'm a big fan of nude pinkish mauve shades because it you can wear it every day and it basically you can use it more so this is again a very mauve shade of a color and you might think that this and the touch of spice looks very similar but it does not this is more of a brownish nude and this has pink undertones to it so it's not same when you wear it on your lips na na it's not going to look the same this shade is debutant from my glam uh, so this watch is uh, what is this i don't know why it all looks the same in the camera but it is not trust me guys it's not it's, it looks completely different when you wear it in person it's like your lips but better you know that kind of a feeling you know these advertisers that they show that your lips but better this is that kind of a lipstick also the texture and this is quite mattifying on the lips it's a bullet lipstick so people might assume that it's not very it's, it leaves a glossy effect but it does not it is it does not even leave a uh, satin effect it is completely a matte lipstick but it's not drying on the lips so that is the best part that i love about this lipstick that these are not 
drying on your lips whatsoever and you can wear it during winter which is like very good for a person like me whose lips are dry throughout the year so this is a very beautiful shade trying to act like the beauty gurus but totally failing at it haha <laughs> high five <sighs> are they gonna watch it how are they gonna discover my channel i mean i'm how why would they search for my channel like i'm making this video for nobody fine i'll just come on my youtube and watch it on a regular basis so that i can see my face Be productive 101 different shade like at least it looks different on the camera right so yeah where is it where is it uh yeah so this one this is lacme enriched satin uh in the shade p163 this was one of my first lipsticks that i ever purchased like four years back four five years back back and i am still using it <laughs> and like they bother mentioning the expired date who is gonna throw away are you one of those people who throws away products just because they got expired well i'm not one of those i use it till like the end of my life i would probably use them um thanks this shade is black me enriched satin p163 is it is as goes by the name it is not mattifying and it le leaves, leaves a satiny effect on your uh, lips and this color is very magenta like purplish violetish tint so this it again looks pink on camera what the hell is wrong with you okay Okay, minted lipstick and the formulation is extremely good it doesn't dry out your lips whatsoever not at all but it last lipstick is the cheapest one and the best one the color payoff is really very nice i have worn this lipstick during uh, christmas of 2017 and everybody complimented me and asked me about the shade i really remember that because it's a very deep dark burgundy maroonish color the name of the shade is uh cherry wine from l18 and this is just 100 rupees and now i think uh, it has the cost is even reduced 85 or 95 rupees this is a very deep dark shade uh wait yeah yeah finally a different color which is visible to the camera so you can understand the color right it's a very bold color i think uh nothing barely any makeup and just the lips is gonna just you're going to feel good about your face. Huh, I'm blabbering, totally blabbering. I know what is wrong with me. Lipsticks are so expensive. Like people don't understand. People, my mom always questions me that why do you buy lipsticks like which are so costly? And she's correct, but you know my greedy mind, I can't just resist seeing a new lipstick color. But it's right. Like in the age of filter, whichever shade you put, it's all gonna look the same. Kind of looks the same. But still, it's hard to resist. I know you can understand if you're watching this already. So that's it. I think we have completed the five season. It's harder than it looks like. Man, I used to make Instagram videos and I had no talking to do. And I thought it's going to be easy and same for YouTube. But it's not. It's like I had to cut it and I, I need to pause it, cut it so many times. It's easy, hard. It's not easy at all. Oh my god, I just stained my top. Okay. I, I think I should leave now. Yes. Oh, and also, I would really appreciate if you would take a moment and subscribe. So, and also to follow me on Instagram because, uh, you know, all my life updates and random silly photos, videos and everything. I, I'm kind of like active there. So, you might want to follow me on Instagram as well. So, that's it if you like it. Thanks for watching. Like, you don't need to like. I know you don't like it already. But if you do, then do hit that like button uh, and subscribe. Bye-bye.